Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the dispenser drawer handle on your front load washer. Over time, the handle may become dried and may crack, or if you pull too hard on it when you open the dispenser drawer, you may break it. But it's a really easy job to change, so let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we're simply going to remove the dispenser drawer, pull it all the way forward until it hits the stop, and then reach in on the left hand side and press down on that tab, and then pull it out the rest of the way. Now if the front is still on your dispenser, we'll need to remove that first and then we can change out the handle. Now with the dispenser drawer on a work surface, we're going to begin by turning it upside down. And then we'll locate these two tabs that secure the front panel to the actual handle. With a small flat blade screwdriver, we're going to go in between those two pieces and just pry them apart gently. the bottom of that front panel. And we'll note that there are also three little hooks across the bottom. Once we tilt this forward, it should disengage from those. These are the three little tabs across the bottom. We'll set that front panel aside. If the handle is still partially attached to your dispenser drawer, we'll next need to re completely remove that. And again, there are some tabs across the bottom. And there are also three little hooks on the inside. So we'll release the tabs across the top just depress them and push that handle through. These are normally the pieces that will break on the handle. Just pull those through the opening and the bottom will drop out. You can discard that old handle. And we'll want to engage these tabs on the bottom. So line it up so that they're centered. And then just rotate it into place. And then snap the bottom in. Should be flush across the top and flush across the bottom. Now to reinstall the cover on that handle, we want to make sure that we engage the top of this handle in your, underneath the edge of those three tabs. Now if it's a bit difficult to tuck it in underneath first, as you'll find it on the bottom, this tab bumps up against that. So what you may wish to do is just tuck that in on the bottom first just a bit, not to engage it, but just so that it started in there, and then you can press the top edge in underneath those three clips. Just grasp both sides, pop it into place, then you can lay it down, and then we'll snap the bottom in so that we engage these two tabs. Once we've ensured that both of those are properly engaged, we can then put that dispenser back into the washer. We just need to slide the dispenser back into the opening, make sure that the tracks on both left and right hand side are lined up properly. And slide it all the way in, make sure that it catches on the stop. And your repair is complete.